Hey Robert, how's it going? This is Holden. I wanted to shoot you over this video showing you three things that you can do to increase some traffic to your business and really get some more customers in the door. Uh, the one thing I will say is that a lot of times these days people don't realize how a strong internet presence is super, super important to getting traffic to your business. And a lot of hesitation that business owners have to, to hiring someone is they just don't know who the experts are and who aren't. So I feel like giving out this free plan of attack, the three things that you can do today uh, has resulted in a lot of people coming back to me and saying, hey, Holden, I could really use your help. So if by in this video you see that I have some value and you want to chat some more, um, send me a message. But if not, you can take these three things and you can do them to your website yourself, and it should help increase some traffic to your business. All right, let's jump right in. I got your website up here, and this thing looks great, man. Um, it's got some good pictures of uh, your work and some content on here. And when it comes to, to Google, and search search engines, content is king. You know they want to see a lot of content on your home page. So I got this tool right here called SEO Quake. It pulls some of the metrics and data off of your off of your page, and it shows me that you have 439 words of content on your home page. Google likes about 1,500 words to be really optimized, and you're falling short of that about a thousand. But that's that's totally fine. You know, it's not so hard to just throw some more some more words and some more content on your front page for Google to recognize. Uh, this is your top competitor here, uh, Energius, and he. We can take a look at his metrics and see what he's got on his page. You know, this guy's got a thousand fifteen words on his home page, so he's still falling short of that fifteen hundred that Google really likes. So it'd be super easy for you to throw another thousand words on your page, get up to fifteen hundred, and knock this guy out of the water. Next thing as far as content goes is keywords. And keywords are like this, what people are searching for in Google to find you. Spray foam insulation in Massachusetts or spray foam near me, you know, things like that. What people are searching for is what Google wants to match to your website so that they know that this is a relevant subject to, to give to this person who's searching for it. You know, they're not gonna put a, uh, a search, they're not gonna connect someone with someone who's with something that they're not looking for. So you need to make sure that you have the words that people are looking for on your website. I can see here the words that you have on your website, these keywords, and how many times you have them listed. So you've got spray foam listed seven times, um, insulation contracting four times, and sell spray four times. These are all keywords that people are searching for 100% to find you. you know, these are the ones that people are looking for and searching. Um, you can look at your competitor, but you can see We've got spray foam 35 times, sell spray 11 times, close sell 9 times, open sell 7 times, uh, foam insulation 5 times. So he's just got more keywords listed on this page and more content than you. So it'd be super easy to throw those keywords and that content onto your home page and beat this guy out. The next thing I want to talk about is, is this thing right here. It's called the map pack. And this is how people find you locally. So when I type in spray foam insulation in Massachusetts, you know, this is this is going to show the people that are local to Massachusetts and who Google likes to put up there the most. And the way that they determine who gets up here into this map pack is based off of uh, how many times you have your name, address, and phone number of your business listed in different directories. And you want to have those things listed as many times as you possibly can in things like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, any directory you can get your name into, that's where you want to put it. And you just want to make sure that you have more than your competition they have 50, you want to blow them out and get 150 uh, just to make sure that they can't get back at you. Next thing I want to talk about is how Google itself is kind of just like a popularity contest. To get up here into your organic search results, these are like the first three that people look at. Most people don't actually go past the first page of Google. And, and if they go down here, they see these things, ads. And most people have, they just have a blind spot for ads. Nobody likes to see an ad. So you really want to get your website listed in this top three or even here at the top in this organic search results. And like I said, Google is a popularity contest. The way to get there is to get votes from other websites saying that you have relevant content on your website. And they do that through something called backlinks. Backlinks are basically like one website putting a link to your website on their website. And it has to be from relative pages, you know? It can't be from, not all backlinks are created equal. You can't have a pizza, a pizza palace you know, sending a link to your, your page for spray foam, Google's going to recognize that that's not relevant and that they're not going to give you any authority for that. So you want to find things that are relevant to, to your business and to your industry 
and ask them if you can get links from their page onto to your homepage. So Google recognizes that and sees that it's got lots of votes from lots of different places pointing at your website. Now this right here is a tool called Arefs, and this buys data from Google. And this this kind of gives us an idea of how your website is doing in the organic search results, and I can see a lot of things on there. So right here, this thing, let me say, is not perfect. You know, it updates all the time, but it's the closest thing that we can, we can use to find out these, uh, these metrics for your website. But this right here shows me that you're getting no organic traffic at all, so people are not finding your website in Google when they're searching for these specific things. Uh, but this over here shows the keywords that people are searching for that you could get found for. You know, this is done monthly, by the way, so this is per month, and like I said, it's not exact. But these are the keywords that people are searching that you could be found for, and that's spray foam insulation in Massachusetts, spray foam insulation contractors in Massachusetts, spray foam insulation MA. So those are on your website, and people are searching those things. And this right here as well is talking about the votes. These are the, the websites. How many websites you have that are linking back to your website? So you have two websites linking back to your website and two separate backlinks going to your website. And this over here is kind of like RFs, this tool. They give a rank of what they think your, your website, how it's doing compared to, comparatively to other websites in the same industry. And it's not showing any data for that. And that could be for a number of reasons, but you know, it's just you want to get those those three things like I said kind of kind of built up which are more content on your web page with the right keywords that people are searching for your name address and phone number in as many directories as possible that you can get things like yellow pages Facebook and Yelp and then on top of that those backlinks get all those votes from those different websites so that you know Google recognizes that your website is important and relative to to spray foam insulation so I hope you like this video. Uh, if you found that uh, I have some, some value and some tips and tricks that you like, shoot me a message and we can talk more. If not, just take these things and implement them yourself and, uh, and get yourself some more business. The only thing I ask is that you let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, man.